A little IV tubing, a little roll from a vet wrap, kitty toy. Are you guys gonna be shy now? So these guys aren't feeling so good. We've got some URI symptoms. We've got some just started with some patchy fur. We don't know ringworm what. So they are isolated from the other kitties and getting all kinds of care and attention. Oh, you guys don't feel good? You really don't feel good. Yeah, she's not eating so well. She's only eating really yummy wet food, which is good. We gotta keep those calories and keep those levels up. She's feeling better. She had URI symptoms, but she's doing a lot better. And this little one's also got the URI symptoms and was flat, but is now playing. Oh, you got the stuffy nose and the yucky eyes. <laughs> you guys want to play with your toys, Mom? Do you want to play with us? So the cats eat fish every day in their morning meal, and Pang has to Pang has to cook fish every day, debone it. <laughs> Sanuk, Sanuk Mai, <laughs> it's not fun. Kitties are enjoying it. <laughs> Dogs are enjoying it. Other cats are waiting in line. Big boxes of frozen, um, and then she boils them up, takes the big bones out, you get the fillets or whatever, and then mushes them up with cat food. So it makes the dry cat food a little bit more appetizing, and the kitties really enjoy it. Panda, do you enjoy it too? Panda enjoys it. Money, if you want. <laughs> Money is in recovery, obviously, she has really bad Demodex. Um, and she was just absolutely bone thin, so she kind of gets whatever she wants to eat because we want to fill her out some more. Panda is not bone thin, though. So, we had pizza last night, so I thought we'd do puppy pizza. It's just puppy food in the pizza box. And I'll watch them. Obviously, I don't want them eating the cardboard, but it'll be fun to get into. Close back up. Touch it down. There we go. You guys want puppy pizza? It's puppy pizza! Yes, and you can get pizza in Thailand. There's a nice Italian restaurant not too far away from our cat shelter. so everybody else can have some of this. Let's move this puppy pizza. Let's move this puppy pizza. Who's gonna open that one?
clinic now has a ceiling and windows. It looks great. And he's getting the fencing ready there because we're gonna, the roof's gonna extend down here onto the fencing. So it's all gonna be enclosed from here back. Um, so we'll have kennels set up here and they'll be great for the TNR because the way that we do the cat TNR now, we don't have an enclosed space to open up the, um, the carriers. So as they're getting in and out of the carriers, running out of the traps, they can take a runner and it's all just rice field here. So. We've lost a couple of cats that just take a while. We've lost dogs too, but we can catch those guys at least. Cats take a runner off into the rice field back here, and you don't see them again. Like, you're not gonna catch a feral cat once they get out here. It's gonna be nice. I'm just gonna connect into a pre-existing kennel that's back here. Those are cats with FELV back there with leukemia. And they're gonna be moving out back into their old house.